Hi guys, Jeremy here from tacticalclassroom.com. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look, uh, taking a look at uh, another common wind formula uh, used by long range shooters. Uh, this one's known as the British wind formula. Um, let's um, let's crack on. So, uh, by way of overview, uh, this is going to be a PowerPoint lesson, which will explain to you the concept of the British wind formula and how you can use it. Uh, there'll be some practical exercises uh, during the lesson, so I uh, have a pen and paper ready. By way of objectives, by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to demonstrate an understanding of the British wind formula and how to use it to quickly account for wind deflection. So, what's a wind formula? Um, it's a quick and easy uh, formula that allows us as shooters to quickly determine an approximate windage adjustment or hold to account for wind deflection. Okay, simplicity is king. Um, you know, all the form, most of the formulas out there uh, avoid complex mathematics and so on. So, um, you know, elementary school, junior high school type stuff. You know, we're talking mathematics uh, at a sort of multiplication tables or times tables uh, level. And that's it. Uh, by way of limitations, you know, none of, the, none of these uh, wind formulas that you'll you'll find on on uh, internet forums or in uh, sniper manuals and so on and so forth. Uh, minute of angle accurate, you know, so not ideal for competition shooting and so on, but, um, you know, they're often referred to as being a minute of man or a minute of bad guy. So, uh, you know, they're not spot on, but they're close enough. Uh, and they're normally accurate within a click or two. Um, and given that, um, you know, when we're assessing wind, and making an estimate of wind speed at the end of the day, it's a best guess, an educated guess, you know, especially for those that have uh, shot in the wind a lot, you know, they can get it pretty close, but uh, at the end of the day, it's still a, it's still an estimate, it's still a best guess. So, you know, if we if we come up with an adjustment and we fire and we're slightly out, well, you know, did we did we make a mistake with the wind call or was the formula like grossly grossly inaccurate? Um, and Normally it's just, normally it's a, our one call. Uh, like I said, these formulas aren't minute of angle accurate, but they're pretty good. Um, so how it works. Okay, so uh, the British wind formula um, is based on, um, you know, scopes that are set up with minute of angle adjustments. Um, and so, you know, if you shoot an MOA, this, uh, this formula is a, a good one uh, for you to use. And it's also based on, you know, a, um, a 308 or 762 military sniper round, you know. So, um, with that in mind, um, we know that a 10 mile an hour wind, the projectile is deflected by one minute of angle at 100 metres. Okay. Uh, and it's also based on constants that are uh, based on the range to target, and of course your data. So. Um, at 100 metres, the constant is 1, at 200 metres, the constant is 2, so on and so forth, right through to 500 is 5. Uh, once we hit 600 metres, things start to change a little bit, so six, at 600 metres, the constant becomes 7, at 700 metres, the constant is 8, at 800 metres, the constant is uh, 10, uh, 900 metres, 12, and 1,000 metres, 14. Now, um, as I said before, it's based on your your rifle and or can be based on your rifle and ammunition combination. Uh, in this case, I have tweaked these constants using the formula uh, to make sure that they match my data. Uh, so if you shoot a different ammunition type, you know, have a different length of barrel which produces a higher MV or a lower MV, then your um, your constant may be slightly different and you might need to tweak it um, just by running the formula and at the end of the day, you'll see whether your whether the answer to your formula, you know, your adjustment or hold is relevant to, or the same as, or close to uh, your actual data from your range card. Um, and if it's not, then you just tweak the constant until it does. But we can talk more about that later on. Um, so the easiest way is to um, to go through some examples. 
So in this example, you're dealing with a seven mile an hour wind at 500 meters. Okay, so seven, our wind speed, multiplied by five, which is a constant for 500 meters, equals 35. Okay, now 35 divided by 10, which is our, um, our, our wind, you know, um, I suppose our constant, one of our constants. So that 10, uh, that 10 relates to um, how far that, that projectile has moved at 100 metres. So as we know, it was a 10 mile an hour wind, so that always stays the same. So 35 divided by 10 equals 3.5 minutes of angle. And that is your adjustment. So pretty simple way. Eh? Right, let's uh, have a look at a second example. I should uh, cement things for you. So in this example, we're dealing with a 12, 12 mile an hour wind at 700 metres. Okay, 12 multiplied by 8 is 96. 96 divided by our wind constant of 10 gives us 9.6 minutes of angle. So, very simple, yeah? All right. Um, if you struggled with that, feel free to go back and watch it again until you get your, to, until you get your head around it. But it, uh, it's pretty simple. So, uh, now it's your turn. So, uh, the next three questions are for you guys to... Um, to have a crack at their formula yourselves. Um, so we'll just crack on, eh? Right, so in this in this question, or this example, you're dealing with a three mile an hour wind at 400 meters. So what is your adjustment slash hold for wind deflection? So at this point, pause the video, um, work it out, uh, and then unpause the video and check your answer against mine. So here's the answer here, 3, which is our wind speed, multiplied by 4, which is our constant for the range, equals 12. Okay, 12 divided by our wind constant of 10 gives us uh, 1.2 minutes of angle. Um, hopefully, you got, um, hopefully you got that. If you didn't, go back, try again. Right, question 2. Uh, this one we're dealing with a five mile an hour wind at 600 meters. What is your adjustment slash hold for wind deflection? Once again, pause the video at this point and uh, run through the formula and then check your check your answer with mine. So here's our answer. So we've got five, which is our wind speed, multiplied by seven, which is our constant for our range, which is 600 meters, which equals 35. So 5 multiplied by 7 equals 35. 35 divided by 10 equals 3.5 minutes of angle. Easy, eh? Alright, third and final. Right, with this, in this one we're dealing with a 10 mile an hour wind at 1,000 metres. Okay, so what is your adjustment slash hold for wind deflection? Once again, pause the video at this point, run through the formula, and then when you're happy, unpause the video and check your answer with my one. So we've got our 10 mile an hour wind multiplied by our constant for 1,000 metres, which is 14, gives us 140. Okay, so 140 divided by our wind value of 10, like I said, always stays the same, gives us 14 minutes of angle. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty good, eh? Okay, so by way of recap uh, for this lesson, we looked at the British wind formula. We talked about the limitations, i.e., it's not minute of angle accurate, uh, and you know it's based on based on 308 ammunition. Um, that's not to say that it can't be tweaked to suit your rifle and ammunition combination, um, but that's what it's based on. So it all, it all comes down to how much the projectile is moved at 100 meters, or if you work in yards, 100 uh, yards. Uh, we looked at how to use the formula, of course. Uh, we looked at some examples of the British Wind Formula, which are the ones I the first couple of examples I gave you uh, to try and get you give you an understanding of of, of the formula. Uh, and then, of course, you completed the three practical exercises using the British formula. All right, guys. So, in conclusion, um, you know you're at a point now we should be able to explain the British Wind Formula uh, to someone else and uh, discuss with them or advise them of the the limitations. Okay, you've also demonstrated. Uh, your knowledge of the wind, British wind formula practically uh, by conducting those exercises um, throughout this lesson. Okay, uh, the next step is transferring that uh, 
out onto the range, going out, shooting it, uh, and so on. Um, to make sure the, the the formula is accurate, obviously uh, check the check to make sure those constants uh, match your match your data or, or are very close to uh, your your rifle data. Uh, that'll ensure that you're getting uh, accurate solutions, um, and then obviously uh, making sure your wind speed your wind speed or your wind call is uh, is accurate because that wind that wind speed or wind data uh, input, if you get that wrong, obviously the formula is going to be wrong. So, um, as always with long range shooting, reading that wind is critically important. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you've got any questions, be sure to uh, get in touch with me, Jeremy at tacticalclassroom.com. Otherwise, pop on over to the Tactical Classroom uh, website and um, send me a message via the contact form over there. Uh, I Genuinely hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, you know I'd really appreciate it if you could like it and share it. Uh, that'd be uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, until next time, uh, take care.